With the release of season three, that means we have a whole new season pass to grind our way through. In this video, I'm gonna give you the best ways to earn your season points the fastest way possible. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another informative video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and helps more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So with the release of ODST on the PC is a fantastic update. It's great to be able to play that on PC, but it brings so much more than that. It brings an entirely new season, season three, for us on the MTC guys. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to grind your way the most effective way possible to earn those season points so you can get through your one through 50 tiers as soon as possible so you can unlock your red alert camo for your BR. You can unlock your Sergeant Johnson for firefight and everything else that comes with it. So let's focus on the weekly challenges and those are the most pertinent time framed ones. You can see on the time I'm making this video, you only five days left for me to complete these challenges. And for PVP, you have and also PVE as well. For PVP, you have uh, earn one season point for breaking sweat, find three matches in competitive ranked modes, which honestly can be kind of difficult at times. <laughs> you have another one saying positive, you know, go positive for a certain amount of matches, uh, socialite, play a certain amount of social games as well. Uh, helping hand, assist teammates in matchmade games, get a certain amount of assists within a game, and style browser, uh, earn different kind of style medals with playing. Uh, big tip on this one though, is to not play Halo 3. I know Halo 3 is the most popular game, and it's probably the most recent multiplayer that you want to play. The problem is though, you really don't earn any, if at all, really, when it comes to uh, style browser kind of medals, as you can see that are listed right here. Only if you pretty much get like a stick, it's when it only seems, or a bowl true, it seems to like actually work for Halo 3. So I highly suggest playing literally any other game in the MCC besides Halo 3 to get this one accomplished. So you can hopefully get that unlocked pretty easily. Everything else is just kind of, you know, earning XP and stuff like that. Now, also we have uh, for the PVE side of things, we have a uh, complete full set of firefight matches. Uh, those are just two games right there. That's pretty easy to do by itself right there. Uh, story sortie, complete campaign missions on normal difficulty or higher. Again, if you just play, one of the challenges as well for the season is actually to play through like a playlist of the campaign in Halo ODST. So then that really kind of helps double up there. That's well. So what I'm gonna try to do is run through all these so you can kind of double up on your different kind of uh, achievements as well. Heavy Metal, if we're interested in to spell it, heavy, defeat heavy enemies in enemy vehicles in PVE modes. Ah, uh, 100 of those, which is quite insane. Definitely the best way to go about this would be playing Firefight, either in Halo Reach or in ODST as well. Uh, make sure you play on the firefight mode maps that actually have vehicles on them most of the reach maps do but not every odst one has one so of course you can do this in campaign play this missions and also in firefight as well we also have battle hardened complete campaign missions on legendary difficulty you do two of those uh, i highly suggest probably doing one of the more introductory levels when it comes to the campaign on legendary because so if you're probably most likely you're probably trying to do this solo to do it real quick and so then that'd be a real easy way to go about doing that. Maybe like CR117 or uh, Halo 3 and pretty much any other introductory mission on Legendary, you probably get through that just fine. And then boss 10 strong, defeat boss enemies in match made firefight games. Just 10 of those, which honestly, if you're just kind of playing enough of the firefight games, you'll get that eventually. Because if you look over to the seasonal challenges, it'll kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about right here. So as we go down the list, this is one more game, complete match made games of multiplayer games. That's 46 out of 50 where I'm at right now. You're in three season points for completing 50 matches. Uh, we also have Silent and Deadly 1. If you complete 500 kills with either an Automag or a Silence SMG, you get two season points on top of that. One more game, part two, you get, after you complete 75 of those, you get four seasonal points. And also with Silent and Deadly Part 2, you after a thousand kills with a, either an Automag or a Silent SMG, you get three points on top of that. You also have the Alpha Niner complete three ODST missions in a co-op session. This one might be kind of tricky because obviously you have to find people who are one, willing to jump in with you to play campaign, but also someone who's willing to do it at least seven times. Honestly, a great suggestion on this one is just to jump into Twitch and see who's playing some campaign missions in ODST and ask them, hey, can I jump in? 
and most people would be down for you to jump in and play with them as well you might have to deal with some kind of latency issues as in co-op campaign in the mcc and just halo for overall in general for the last few years have been really laggy but if you find someone who has a decent connection near to you it's not really that bad of an issue we have the hot dropper complete match made firefight games in halo 3 odsc those are 10 match made games which should last you about 15 to 20 minutes each time so uh, a decent amount of time to grind that one out but honestly 10 matches as long as you play that playlist enough you'll get through it just fine uh, it seems like most of these challenges do as long as you just kind of play the game you'll get through these challenges just just fine uh also and then i'm going to hear complete 20 uh firefight match made games that's either reach or odsc as well uh, you have the wave runner 2 complete match made firefight games in 30 of those that can be either reach or odst as well another one here we have the sax appeal which is complete a halo 3 odc campaign playlist now there is one playlist i want to point out in particular which is actually might be a little more long when it comes to the campaigns themselves but i would say that it actually is the shortest one and that is the arena battles which is only only alpha site as well as coastal highway now these missions do take a little bit of time as they're very well thought out long campaign missions but you only have to do two of these and you also have the party like it's 07 which is going to be playing a certain amount of matches in halo 3 multiplayer match made games uh, you know me just playing after a week of just playing some Halo 3 match made games I was able to get through these just fine and, you know it kind of stacks up along with doing your PvP challenges as well as in almost all these challenges you can do in Halo 3 like even like the, the uh, style browser one which I suggest not to play Halo 3 I played Halo 3 enough to where I was able to unlock this one so uh, kind of like a little double dip if you will when it comes to getting your challenges done as soon as possible so everyone those are the most effective ways you can earn your season points in season three it's essentially just jump in and play the game play some halo 3 play some odst campaign play some odst firefight guys you'll earn your season points soon enough to where you get unlock everything you need to unlock for the recon season for season three so thank you all so much for watching i greatly appreciate it if this found this video informational make sure to tap that like button as it really helps out the video and trying to get more notoriety so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you missed any content for me or been out of the loop for the last few days or so for news and information when it comes to Halo, make sure you check out the videos on the screen right now and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.